been in Arizona, even if you've been here for years, there are so many native plants that we may not be aware of. One woman, though, is on an amazing mission to spread more information about this and maybe these seeds even into your home. Meteorologist Jorge Torres is on this one for us, joining us live from Mesa. Good morning. Hey, Kaylee, good morning. Yeah, we're here at Mesa Community College, the Red Mountain Campus. We're in, I'm inside a garden that has some of these plants that were originally those seeds. And it all started thanks to this librarian who is now obviously the founder of the Native Seed Library. For that is Danielle Carlock. So, Danielle, tell me, what kind of seeds can people find in the Native Seed Library? Sure, so all the plants are um, native to Maricopa County and surrounding areas. And we have everything from shrubs, um, annuals, uh, vines, um, perennials, a, var a variety of different plants. There's actually a few of the seed library plants are here near us. Uh, pink fairy duster, which is a shrub that's a great uh, beef bee um, pollinated plant. And then there's a rush milkweed next to that, which is um, a host plant for monarch butterflies and queen butterflies. So um, there's about 40, 45 species in the seed library right now. And we do also have some food plants as well. So obviously there's a lot of room here in this garden, but people who want to plant at home don't need a lot of space, correct? No, um, you can support some wildlife even with a small garden like in a terrace or patio with containers. A lot of the seed library plants do well um, in containers. Um, some of the smaller plants such as the perennials, there's one called chocolate flower. Um, there's a snapdragon vine, which is a really pretty um, kind of petite vine that actually attracts uh, hummingbirds. So there's a lot of plants that can be grown even in a small space. You can support wildlife. And people, I'm sure, are very curious and want to know where can they get these seeds to plant on their own? Yeah, so anybody can get seeds. Um, the seeds are free, and we just ask people to honor a three-packet limit per month when they go in. Um, and we have several locations right now here at Red Mountain Campus. The library is doing a curbside pickup, and folks can call in and then schedule that. Um, and then also at Gateway Community College Library and Phoenix Library, there's uh, locations there as well. Awesome. So if you want to watch later, obviously, and if you want to find out more information about the seed library in detail and more on those locations where you can get those seeds for free, as she mentioned, we'll have all that information as well on our website, abc15.com. But for now, reporting live here in Mesa, Jorge Torres, ABC 15, Arizona.